the cocainiest of all the bears. Cocaine Bear is now out and in theaters. Uh, we had a chance to go see it last night. And uh, we should probably talk about it a little bit here. And listen, I'll be the first one out of the gate. I have been very, very excited for this movie. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Elizabeth Banks, although admittedly, I I have been disappointed with her efforts as a director up to this point. I didn't think she did a great job on pitch on her Pitch Perfect films. She didn't do the first one. Uh, I did not like what she did with Charlie's Angels, although there was some interesting ideas in there. And so the trailer, though, for Cocaine Bear has been bonkers. I mean, based loosely based on a true story and all that kind of stuff. I've been very excited to go. Went to go see it yesterday, and, um, well, the 100% rating it had while we were doing the show yesterday, it has now dropped to 70, which is still a good score. 70 is still, hey, that means a good solid majority of, of the critics who are watching it like it. Uh, the audience scores right now sit a little bit above that at 80. I mean, so there you go. I am very on the fence about this movie, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, let, let me put it this way. Every the parts of this movie that I was really looking forward to in a movie called Cocaine Bear, I liked. You know, we saw in the trailer that one shot of the bear chasing after the ambulance. That scene, that whole scene and sequence, by the end of the year, it's going to be on my top 10 favorite sequences of the year list. I I loved it. And there are definitely moments in the movie that really play into that. And I don't know. Taylor, if you can look up what the budget of this movie was, see if you can find a number on that, because I, I got to assume the budget was fairly low when you look at it. Uh, very, very few people in the movie and all that, kind of, although some recognizable faces. There is a surprising lack of bear in a movie called Cocaine Bear, but that probably has a lot more to do with the budget mm -hmm. uh, yeah. than anything else. But there's not a lot of bear. And whenever the bear is not on screen... Other than one scene that happens in a bathroom, I think the movie's actually quite poor. Like, if you remove what little bear is in the movie and you just rely on the other 80% of the movie, the rest of the 80% of the movie is actually not very good. Uh, again, aside from what Shay Jackson about, what did you find out there, Taylor? So, according to Variety, Cocaine Bear has a roughly $35 million budget, but I don't know how accurate that is with the amount of coke in there. But, yeah, I'm sure it's all legitimate. She, <laughs> Elizabeth Banks wanted it to feel as real as possible. She had pure Colombian cocaine in there. And listen, the I knew guys right were now, in their truck. 34 million of that was the bear. 34 million out of that 35 million was the bear. Uh, and, and that that kind of explains why there's not a lot of it. But as excited as I was for it, as a as big of a Elizabeth Banks fan as I am, uh, that was all Naren Reich in there. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, love him. He was, he was great. great. Saw some. Uh, I have seen Ray Liotta on screen one last time. That little great. kid. O'Shea Jackson, the little girl, the little no, boy. No, 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 the, the little, little boy. boy. Yeah. The twang boy was like one of the best. He was actually really funny. Yeah. But again, for the most part, uh, everything with the bear was great. But the bear's in about 20% of the movie. And outside of that, it, it just didn't really work for me quite as well. Now, I believe we're going to get a different perspective. We did not talk about it, but considering her attire today, I'm guessing, Chris, maybe you liked it a little bit more than I did. What did you think about Cocaine Bear? I had so much fun at Cocaine Bear. <laughs> I also think, too, like movies, a lot of times, it depends on who you go to see it with. Yeah. Me and my friends got in bear onesies, and we were ridiculous, and we got free posters from Regal because of it, and we had a blast. Our audience, too, was super, super into it as well. I had a great time. I actually <laughs> could have stood it being a little gorier. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like we could have cranked that up a little bit, but I thought it was so fun. I thought it was delightfully campy. I can't wait for this to become a midnight viewing kind of thing where you get to yell back at the screen and everything. I thought this was hysterical. There are going to be so many cocaine bear and cocaine bear character costumes this Halloween. I guarantee it. I, I do today. not believe you're right. <laughs> Ray, you saw it with me. What did you think of cocaine bear? It kind of reminds me of the first Godzilla. He found it inspiring. No, no. It <laughs> kind of reminds me of the first Godzilla. I just wanted a little bit more bear. Like, I wanted its presence, even if you don't see it. I wanted to feel its presence throughout the film. And there's some parts where it's like, that bear's nowhere near this, this scene. Like, I want, I just want that feeling of like, because anytime the bear, or at least when I thought the bear was around, the feeling I had, like, I was like this, like this. The whole time, like doing the yeah. theater, I was like, oh, I want that throughout the whole movie, and it would have been perfect. Like, the the duration of the movie, 
what one hour 30 that's already yeah six right out, around 90 minutes that's already six out of ten that's the the lowest they'll go from the get-go i'll give it like a 7.5 out of 10 just for the the actual idea of a cocaine bear is crazy to me if this movie didn't come out i would have never known about the story at all so I just, like i give that a 7.5 out of that right? i just so. want it to be known that you owe me a bindles worth of fine peruvian flake and i'm gonna teach you how to manage those fatty rails when the show's over because <laughs> what did you do to your face come on you, man. you didn't get out to see it last night did you no i did not okay i did not so I, I didn't think you did yeah so i listen uh guys i i wanted to love it the parts in there that i was looking forward to totally worked and i had a blast and again if you have not seen it's worth going to see it just for the entire drawn out ambulance sequence because that sequence is baller fun uh i i just thought the rest left a lot to be desired but hey listen chris had a really good time i think the majority of people at least like the film i think it's something you should at least check out yourself questions for you guys what do you think did you have a chance to see it? did you like it were you disappointed by it did you love it whatever you guys think jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts guys we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video fume be smart don't start. Kick the habit. Put it out before it puts you out. All phrases we've heard a hundred times, and yet we still continue to have bad habits. Today's sponsor, Fume, is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. You see, Fume is not a vape. It's a non-electronic device designed to transform your negative habits. Because instead of pods filled with potentially harmful chemicals like a vape, Fume uses cores infused with plants like peppermint and cinnamon for delicious natural flavors. And Fume's new version 2 model is snappy and tactile. With an adjustable airflow dial and a magnetic end cap, your fingers will always have something to do. The device itself is really attractive, and once I popped in the core and took my first inhale of it, it tasted fantastic. Guys, the easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to a positive one, and Fume is designed to perfectly do just that. So head over to tryfume.com and use the promo code CAMPIA to save 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors and the new version 2 fume to help kickstart your positive habits. That's tryfume, T-R-Y-F-U-M dot com and use the code CAMPIA to save an additional 10% off your order today.